Leckenbreg Vegan Camp, the 27th of November 2018. One lime, the first and only. Five o'clock in the morning, it's pretty cold, 15 degrees, so everything below 20 is cold here in Thailand. And then about, right now we have about 8.30 in the morning and it's like 17, 18 degrees, so it's almost 20. But yeah, when you're used to warm, then you need to get some clothes on when it gets below that otherwise you get yeah I don't know you need to go out and run if or do some active work in the garden if you don't want to put on clothes so one of the reasons why the smoke season is bad also is because people are cold in Thailand when it gets below these 20 degrees so end of November December January it's cold and if you don't have isolation, the only way for people to get warm also in the morning, they will start a fire. And if everybody in Thailand and in, in other areas in Asia do that at the same time, you'll get poor air quality. Before we had, there were like large trees in the neighboring land, but now they cut down the trees for lumber. And now we have like open space here. Amazing that the Passion fruits still are here, but they're quite few and it's a good harvest. It's a good addition to the other fruits we have. This month we had the rice harvest, which is fun and hard, but it's only like one day for the harvest itself. Not the most uh, easy work and like, I feel like it's, it's a special thing, like the same as the longan harvest. The rice harvest is special also because rice is so special crop for Thai people and also it's like they're, um, the food for like the, the main staple food the rest of the year is like the so it's like it should not rain it should be so, sunshine and it hasn't rained since we harvested so that's really good because when you harvest the rice you just put the rice uh, on top of the other rice straw that are left and and then they will just dry there in the field and then you collect them and then they, they will use a machine to uh, remove the rice itself from the rice straw. So it's a special event and it's really carefully planned when to harvest and stuff like that so it's nice to participate in that. It's much easier to harvest bananas and this is a banana flower where the bees are currently taking some of the pollen. Sweet potato is trying to do some stuff here. A new cassava growing. Zucchini is growing quite well. They're getting flowers and also the zucchini itself is coming there. Actually quite a lot of zucchini. Strawberries. And this is the nicest tomato plant growing with flowers. All tomato plants that grow with flowers seem to do much much better job than others. So I don't know if it's because the ground cover or what, but yeah. Really good. That's I mean going out and like it's almost like taking wild tomatoes. Because it's not like you don't have a factory of tomatoes growing. You just have like tomato plants growing wherever they they like to grow. That seems more biodiverse. Underneath this dragon here, we had a hive of wasps, but now they have all hatched from the eggs or what you call these, and that they left this at the bottom of the jar and now there's a, like a nice decoration. We currently have three beehives. One in this pair of bamboo 
and this dome is actually planned to be the giant granadilla, the giant passion fruit dome. They get very beautiful flowers. And they grow pretty fast, especially if you water them. <laughs> this is one of the first of the passion, giant passion fruits, but it's not ripe yet at all. A truck came with some soil. I think Lake wants to use that for planting some stuff. The weeds has been cut. Look at all these flowers on this mango tree. It's insane. Compared to many of the others, they don't have any. I don't get these trees. Another mango, two meters away from the other one. No flowers. Good amount of pumpkin in the field and also already harvested. X seems to avoid too much pumpkin because she's a bit afraid of yellow skin. I don't know really why. But maybe... I don't know if it's because of health or just the appearance. It's appearance in Thailand is important. Like many other countries. <laughs> Whoops! A lot of white flowers for a curry. for the bees to pit, take some pollen. Yesterday I harvested that banana and I forgot about the bees up there. But luckily I did not harvest the banana palm into the bees. I don't know what they would do to me <laughs> if I did that. Probably not something nice. Probably the best banana rack we have right now on the palm supported by bamboo but yeah you need to be careful in thailand when you do stuff so it's not uncommon to be stung by wasps wasps or bees um but like if you're careful i've never been stung by a, a wasp i think or a bee maybe one time i was stung by a bee that got stuck in my boot that's why I also like to go around with um, like uh, sandals. Nice zero drop, zero cushioning sandals, very thin sole, couple of millimeters. Safest way to, to walk around if you're not barefoot. And of course one of the highlights of November, of course, is the beans. They're fresh and tasty, just steam them and you have a lot of food for for dinner and they're like we have a lot and I bagged the first mango let's see if it grows strong this little storage area is being replaced this humongous monster sponsored by the longan the red banana over there in the middle this one we harvested the red banana taste of red banana is amazing Nice Cavendish. And the third beehive is on this mango tree. It's not Nam Dog Mai, it's a different type. Still a good one. But yeah, it's nice that we have three beehives on at a small area here. Nice to see some uh, biodiverse action here. Avocado cut by accident, but it's still growing, so it's nice to see. A tomato plant growing directly in the compost. So one of the reasons why we want like a bigger storage is because we have like a lot of stuff near the house that we want to move away from the house. What I usually do is I harvest these and let them sit in a net for one day, then they become soft. And then these are like very ready. I'm not sure what other people do, but if we don't pick them, there will be a lot of worms in them and yeah, not nice. These nice avocados from the seed there. 
This one is not growing, there's one growing, and there's one growing too there. And of course, not to forget the 10 to 15 kilo jackfruit that we got from the neighbor. There's a growing, this is like a jackfruit tree, and they're like, I guess that they're like about 50, 60 kilos of jackfruit rotting there. And the chicken will just like eat them and stuff. So there's a lot of jackfruit. If you really want to get some jackfruit for a reasonable price, uh, like very cheap, just go to the countryside. There will be, at this time, in northern Thailand, in the Li area, there will probably be a lot of jackfruit right now. 9.30 and the temperature is above 20. Plus the sun creates more heat and then you're like need to go almost naked.